Welcome to TVP Solar's booth in the Swiss Pavilion at the World Future Energy Summit 2012 in Abu Dhabi. You see in the picture our first installation here at Mazda City is made of 40 panels just in front of the energy departments. We are here at Mazda, that is the world's largest zero environmental impact real estate development. We have selected Mazda City as a showcase for the entire region. It has high sunlight exposure, a dusty environment, and the potential to scale up for large deployments. You see, this is the sign that is outside the energy department, just describing the pilot installation that is there. We have updated their pilot solar cooling installation that is operating since year 2010. We are so confident about our products that we have decided to compare side by side as day one our flagship empty power panel with the best state-of-the-art technologies driving double stage absorption chiller for solar cooling. Let's describe the site at Mazda. It's uh, just in front of the energy department. It consists of two fields of concentrators, one compact parabolic trough technology, one Fresnel technology, and now TVP Solar. We were asked by Mazda to install here to provide consistent heating at 180 C for a solar cooling application without maintenance. TVP Solar is the only product that can do that. But let's summarize very briefly the results, the preliminary results of the installation that was completed just yesterday. First, TVP Solar has the lowest footprint per kilowatt produced. We produce much more energy per occupied space. This will become a major issue when the battle will be related to occupancy of rooftop. In terms of, of performance, we have the highest system net efficiency, 50%. We start from a collector efficiency, thermal efficiency at 180C of more than 60%. We have a huge spread in terms of net efficiency in respect to concentrating technologies. But let's talk about real operations. We are the only collector that can capture direct and diffuse light. And this makes a tremendous difference in the overall energy output production on yearly basis. See the light condition in, Mazda, in, in Abu Dhabi. Everybody thinks that even, even here is a perfect weather. But diffuse light component exceeds 45%. Direct light is only 55%. Concentrator can convert only direct light. So we have an highest performance in conversion of direct light, and we are the only collector that can transform diffuse light. So you can see that we produce on yearly basis at least 45% more energy. But this is still theoretical. Let's go practical. We don't need cleaning. We capture diffuse light, means that we do not need any precision dust cleaning. We do not have serviceable mechanical moving parts. Dust requires zero maintenance. If we leave our panel in field fully covered by dust, we lose up to maximum 5%. Dust is not affecting significantly our performance. Concentrators need to clean collectors, mirrors, at least every two days. 
they lost due to that get closer to 50 percent of the overall performance it means that in this region or everywhere in the world diffuse light makes the difference we have the only product that can work in a very effective manner in humid dusty foggy and even AC climate condition we are the only real collector that can offer solar cooling for this region and many other with high sun irradiance but very difficult weather condition. I try to be very short. Come to visit our installation. We are going to organize visits in the next two days. We are real. For the first time, solar cooling becomes effective. We are here at Mazda City to show what we can do. This is a change, a paradigm change in the solar industry. Thank you, everybody.